in this tutorial is how to program your wireless router to run on a time schedule. So if you've got wireless internet at home and you've got children and you want to be able to program your internet to switch on or off so they can't use it after a certain amount of time, then you just have to schedule a time schedule. Now, the way to do that is to access your wireless router. What you'll need is an IP or internet protocol address. Your user manual will have that. If you can't find a user manual, there's an easy way to find it and I'll show you how now. On Windows, we'll click on the start menu and type in the word run and hit enter. Here we'll type in the letters CMD and hit enter or click OK. It'll bring up this box. In here you want to type in IP config and hit enter. Scroll all the way to the top and we're looking for this information here, Ethernet adapter local area connection. And in specifically the default gateway. This is your wireless router. So write down whatever number appears here. In my instance it's 192.168.1.1. You've written that down. Now you have to access the router. So open a web browser, so either the Internet Explorer or Google Chrome or Firefox or Safari and type in those numbers. So 192.168.1.1 and hit enter. This will bring up a window security where you need to enter your admin and password. By default, it'll be admin admin, unless you've already changed it and click OK. Right, now we're into the modem. Now in this instance, I'm using a billion BIPAC 7800N. The reason I'm using this one is because this is one of the more difficult non-user friendly routers. If you've got one that's a lot newer than this, these, this one's about, about two years old. If you've got a newer one than this, then the settings are a lot more user friendly and they'll be more specifically targeted at non-IT type people. If you watch this tutorial and you understand it, then you can pretty much program any time schedule on a router. So the first thing that we need to do is change that password because if you've got kids and they're tech savvy, all they have to do is get in with that admin, admin password and username and change your time schedule that you've worked painstakingly to set in the first place. So click advanced on the left hand side here. Click configuration, system and then user management. In here is where we can change our password. So you type in your old password here which is admin, type in your new one and then type it in again and confirm it. Now whenever you're doing anything on this billion buy pack, you need to do three steps to make sure those saves stick. You need to click apply here and then click save config. It'll then take you to another window where it asks you to save it to flash. That's like the internal memory of the modem. You must click apply in that instance as well. What that means is if you save the settings into the internal memory and the power goes out or your tech savvy kid switches the modem off, it means that none of your information will be lost. The one thing to remember though, your child might try and do a factory reset on the modem. In that instance, you need to make sure that your broadband or internet service provider password is something that they do not know. If they know that password, then contact your service provider and change that password because they'll need that to set up the router from scratch again. So as long as they don't know any of your passwords, they won't be able to reset any of your scheduling. Right, once you've done that, the second next important thing to do is make sure that the router's time is the same as the time zone that you're living in. So you need to click configuration again, then time zone. And here it says local time zone. Change that to wherever you live. In this instance, I live in Perth in Australia. Click Perth. This is what I was talking about before with the three steps. Scroll down, click apply, then click save config. And then here it is, right settings to flash, click apply there. And then you'll see this screen and you know that this, these settings have been applied. Okay, so now we have our password changed, we're in the correct time zone, now we need to set up a time schedule. So once again, still in configuration, we'll scroll down and click time schedule. Now you have a whole heap of different time schedules that you can select. So let's just select here time slot nine, we'll click on that and it'll bring it up to the top. I'm going to change the name of that to wireless on week. Okay, so wireless on week. Make sure you have no spaces in between those words. 
And I'm going to make this schedule apply for Saturdays, Mondays, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. I'll leave Saturday out because I'm going to do a separate schedule for that. Okay, I'd like my internet to be switched on between the hours of 6 o'clock in the morning and my kids say they go to bed at 10 o'clock and I'll set it to 10 o'clock. So rather than setting the schedule to switch the wireless internet off, we're setting it to when we want it to switch on, when we want the wireless internet available. So in this instance, I want it available from 6 o'clock in the morning to 10 o'clock at night. Outside of those hours, it'll be switched off. You must click Edit Clear. I know it makes no sense, but that's what you have to do. Then you click Save Config, and then click Apply. So, so far we've set up one time schedule. Now we'll set up one for Saturday. So click Time Schedule again, and I've already prepared one here for Saturday. So what I did, I clicked there, type in Saturday, untick all, all the other days of the week, and make sure I've got just Saturday ticked. And I will schedule that from 6, let, let, let's say 6.20 in the morning. And I'm feeling a little bit generous and they can have access to the internet until 5 minutes to midnight. So 23.55, 24 hour time. Click Edit Clear, Save Config and Apply. So now we have our time schedules organised. We have to now apply them to the router. So once again, we're on the left hand menu under Advanced Configuration, LAN, Wireless. Now here you've got WLAN service. You've got enable and disable. If I tick disable, then the entire wireless access will be disabled 24-7. Uh, so I don't want that to happen. I want to enable it, but I want to apply here a time schedule. At the moment, I've got it set to always on. So let's apply those two ones that we did. We did wireless on week, and I'm also going to apply the second schedule. In this router, you can only apply two and that's Saturday. So I've got two time schedules. Outside of those schedules, the wireless internet will be turned off. I scroll down, I click apply, and then save config, and then click apply to make sure we write those settings to the flash. And there we have it. There we have our time ske our schedules set on the router, so it will only be on during those certain times that we set, every other time will be set off. Let's just double check. So we'll go back into LAN, wireless, and I can see that the time schedule is set for wireless on week and Saturdays. If we go back down just to double check what times they were, time schedule, we can see here we had, scroll down, wireless on week on those capital letters. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the little letter S means it's not applied on that day. It'll go on at 6 o'clock, it'll switch off at 10 o'clock. Okay, and that's it. So if you have any questions, make sure you put them down in the comments. If you have a different router or you're having any problems, I'm more than happy to do another tutorial or a separate tutorial on whatever router that you've got. Good luck with that. That's it from the CyberGuru.